I was fishing. I did go. I went to four colleges, and, uh, and I pulled up into a big still but But that's all. Does that mean you do uh, 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 I do. I do. Uh, well, yeah, the, they have a new moon or a full moon, and they're just about the same on the effect of the physiology of an animal or a human. And if the sign goes up, you know, from the head to the feet, and if the sign's in the head, the cattle, the horses, people are idiots. They act that way. <laughs> people that will get mad at you today that wouldn't get mad at you normally, they will. In the meantime, I used to be an EMT and uh, I'm working the emergency room in the hospital. And anything can happen on a full moon or when the sun's in the head. People come in, they, they commit suicide, they beat each other up. I mean, it, they have heart attacks, everything happens. I was in Colorado Springs one time and there's a woman come in and her sister bit her toe off. There's five men and her sister bit her toe off. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Did she have the toe? Yes, yeah, she had it, but it had teeth marks on it. Heard a lady fingers, but that's a little bit of a And then she wore them house shoes with the, had uh, Garfield the cat on the front, you know. <laughs> I never forget that because it, it just looked funny. It is still funny. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Her sister bit Garfield's black toe off. <laughs> uh, that must have been who uh, takes care of the house on uh, what's this? What's the Tomcats? Tom, Tom and Jerry. Yeah, you know, no. comes down the stairs. She must. And I wanted to say, you know, the toe might have had a chance if she hadn't swallowed it, but I didn't say that. But I wanted to say that. <laughs> You know, as, a, as an EMT in the medical, in the emergency room, you ain't supposed to say stuff like that. But you, you really feel like it. Yeah. And I asked her, I said, well, your sister ain't here. What'd you do to her? She said, well, I smacked her nose up pretty good. <laughs> okay. But she didn't have to come to the emergency room. <laughs> Started out with her nose splattered all over her face anyway. That's why she bit her toe off, I reckon. Yeah, I All right. Comanche. Who? I brought this old crippled cow in, and she was going to have a calf. And I got up, I put her there in the horse trap. And I got up the next morning. I'd been riding old Lee quite a bit, you know. And I got to looking at that cow, and I said, well, you know, she's going to have a calf just in his <laughs> And about that time, I thought old Lee was going to get him a bite of grass. He was getting ready to He bug. was into it. He was down into it. And what happened is I hit my tailbone on that cattle, and when I went off, I went off over there on that side. Well, I kept my rein, and so I unsaddled him. I wasn't 100 yards from the corral. I unsaddled him. I thought, what did I do? I never found anything. I rode that horse all day long. He never. He never. Well, that colt of mine, I hadn't rode him in six months, and it was a three-year-old colt. And he needed road, and I was in a hurry, so I saddled him up, and I took him to that hill east of the Dunlap Ranch. <laughs> started up, and he That's got about halfway up, and he stopped. And I just, I was impatient. I just dug the crap out of him with the spurs, and he just blowed up right there on that hillside. <laughs> And when he turned around, I thought, and it was muddy, I thought, I probably should get off because he's going to fall down the time he gets down that hill. It was 200 yards to the bottom of this hill. So I took my foot out and I started to step off. And about that time, he went just high as a kite and he went sailing me off there. So I really actually didn't get bucked off. I was getting off, but I didn't get off gracefully. <laughs> and then he bucked down the hill and just stopped. And I went down there and I was going to get on. And my arm just hung there like this. I couldn't get on. And I thought, well, you don't have no business getting on a bucking horse anyway with one arm. So I taught that bastard a lesson. I just led him to the house. I made him walk. Who learned the most?